If you want to earn yourself ten pounds a week, and you don't mind things that wriggle and squirm and hiss, why not become a snake catcher? The hours are good, it's an open air life, and you don't get bitten much if you know your stuff. Well, that's what Mr. Besant says. To fill his time and his pockets during Dimar leave from Burma, he decided to have a go at this sort of thing. That's another four bob in the till. The London Zoo will pay anything up to that for a good adder or grass snake, and there are plenty of both in this part of the New Forest. Mr. Besant does most of his hunting in the morning. He says that snakes prefer to be caught then. By midday they've wriggled into their holes and won't come out. The most essential part of a snake catcher's equipment is a pair of heavy boots. A snake's teeth will go right through thin ones, and an adder's bite can kill a man in a couple of hours. The next thing is a pair of tongs, and they're all ready to set up in business. And now, armed with a day's catch, Mr. Besant arrives at the London Zoo to deliver another wriggling load and come away several pounds richer. Nice easy money, he says. No worries, except an odd bite or two. Of course, there was that time when he was nearly killed by an adder, but what's a little bite here and there? Now to help the keeper unload the catch and reckon up the takings. Mr. Besant holds the record for the number bagged in one month. And here's where the newcomers will spend the rest of their days, while children gape and mothers say, come away from that nasty thing this minute. Mr. Besant says he's the only real professional snake catcher in the country. So if you want to get into something with no competition, now's your chance. 